Let's go over the solution to this exercise. As you can see, I've filled out the table as shown. I selected production area as our root path, since our data item, production, is under this element. For start time, I use January 4th, 2020 at midnight, and for end time, January 11th, 2020 at midnight. This will change depending on when you're doing this lab. For time interval, I've used 1D or 1 day. To get the unit of measure property, we can use the properties function. I'll use the root path and data items that we've already selected. And under property, I'll choose UOM. And as you can see, that'll automatically pull in our unit of measure from the AF database. Let's fill out the rest of this table. We'll use the calculated data function and use the root path, data items, start time and end time that we've already filled out in our table. Since the unit of measure of the production is per minute, we'll select minute from the conversion factor dropdown. Click OK to have 1,440 entered. Make sure to show timestamps for this first column and hit OK. Next, we'll do the average. We'll fill out most things the same. This time, we're going to leave the conversion factor set to 1, but we're going to change the calculation mode to average time weighted. And we'll hit OK. Lastly, we'll do maximum. Again, we'll use most of our values from our table that we've already filled out. We'll leave the conversion factor at 1 and choose calculation mode of maximum. And we're going to check show percent good. Once we hit OK, we'll see that both columns are filled out. Now to do the weekly calculation, we'll do all these steps again, but instead of using a time interval of 1D, we'll leave that blank. That'll calculate the total values for the whole week instead of per day.